Carla, pay attention. We are on the air. Oh, sorry. I had a late night last evening. Maybe you better take it, Norman. Okay, let us see. We want to welcome all of you out there to our annual New Year's Day telecast. You know Carla, 2030 has been an eventful year. In fact, it has been a record-breaking year. What do you think of that, Carla? You know, Norman, I think you were right. Remember 10 years ago all that crazy talk about climate change, Carla? I sure do, but Norman, I was only 10 years old. Oh, uh, sure, Carla. 10 years old. Dog years, maybe. What did you say, mister? Want to tell the audience that that is your natural hair? At least I am willing to go gray naturally. Oh, forget it. Let's get back to climate change. Fortunately, all that global warming stuff was just a left-wing hoax. So as we do every year, let us check in with our correspondents around the world. Okay, if you insist. But I am not sure there is much to show. Achoo. Sorry. A lot more pollen and dust around lately. You are just getting old. Dust never bothered me. I know. I have been to your house. Okay, okay, let's check in with our team around the country. Okay, take it away, Sam, reporting from the North Pole. How is it up there, Sam? Hi, Norman and Carla. It is just great up here. I can remember way back in 2020. This place was freezing, even in summer, and you couldn't bring your boat up here for all the glaciers and icebergs. And now they are talking about a marina and water park. As soon as these last pesky icebergs melt. Now let me pass you over to Bill, in upstate New York. Take it away, Bill. Thanks, Sam. I am standing just outside of what used to be Crossgate Mall, enjoying this new beachfront property. The city built this recreation area after rising sea levels converted what was just a big parking lot into this wonderful park. Now my family and I don't need to drive for three hours just to see the ocean and play in the sand. I think they moved most of the state capital up in the Adirondack Mountains. Our taxes went up to pay for it. But the money was saved on gas by not driving to Cape Cod every year almost covers it. Got to hang 10 now, so over to Ted in beautiful California. The map they gave me says this is the site of the magnificent Redwoods Forest, but I think they must be mistaken. If this is a forest, I am President Obama. Been great for my people since they abolished the two-term limit for president and he got re-elected. Bring back the good old days, my mama used to say. But I still don't know what happened to the Redwoods Forest. Well over to Stella in Seattle. Take it away Stella. Where in the blooming blue heck is the famous Space Needle? What was her problem Norman? She is lucky she even has a job. Yes. Being a news reporter from what used to be the West Coast is a big step up from being a tour guide at what used to be Disneyland. You got that right. Maybe she is one of those climate change hoax believers. Damn college kids these days. They keep dwelling on the past. Look to the future. What was it Trump used to say? Make America great again? Carla, I think your definition of great is not the same as mine. Get over yourself, Norman. Sorry, I lost it there for a moment. And I feel like I am going to lose it again. Due to loss of control in the so-called control room, we end this broadcast with a brief word from our sponsor, 